This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, it's just uh, a day into, well, tonight, I guess, Certified Lover Boy is coming out. And Drake has been using nationwide billboards to reveal some of the people who are on his album. Now, I saw some of these billboards and people posting them on social media. Hey, New York, the goat is on CLB. Certified Lover Boy. Hey, Chicago, Smirk is on CLB. Hey, California, uh, Giveon and Ty Dollar are on CLB. Hey, Memphis, Yeba and Project Pat are on CLB. That's hey, the Houston, one. the hometown hero is on CLB. Yeah, man, Project one? Pat, that's the one. That's the one I can't wait to hear. Drop on the clues bomb for that collab. I don't know if that's the same song or what, but no, man. No, I think he's just in, in different where people are from. He's putting up billboards oh, I if know. you're from there. But yeah, about so I don't the... know that they're on the same song. No. But mm-hmm. if they are, man, even if they, oh, my God. Yeah, man, Project Pat with Drake? Oh, my God. Hey, Atlanta Slime, Pluto Savage, and Baby are on Certified Lover Boy. So looks like there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of guest appearances, but it should be exciting. And I know we're all excited to hear what that sounds like. So I love what uh, I wonder how this uh, is going to go down. Yeah, I love what Drake and Kanye are doing as far as their rollouts. You know, what I mean, rollouts still matter. Corporations just have to stop being cheap and spend those budgets on the marketing. But I, I love seeing it. I thought J. Cole had a great rollout earlier this year. But what Ye and Drake are doing right now should make these labels understand that you need budgets and marketing outside of throwing a couple dollars to the Internet. Also, I got to say, Drake has one-up Kanye, too, with those billboards as well, because Kanye had a uh, he had a very feature-heavy album, too. And he didn't put billboards in those artist cities <laughs> saying now, they Kanye on the album just like started, Drake is. Kanye just started to flood Toronto with Donda billboards as well. Yeah, so. I seen that. I seen that yesterday. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but I will say this. Uh, you know, Kanye did do those three big events and broke all kinds of streaming services before putting in the um, actual album out. You stop. So, Drake, Drake is going to break every single screaming record possible. That, that, whatever. But we were just talking about rollout. That was a good rollout strategy. I just gave him props for it. That's why I said mm-hmm. I like Drake and Kanye's rollouts. Now, Lil Wayne recently did a, a Q&A on Twitter. He said that he was only going to be answering questions about his uh, his new album, uh, Carter 4, and he put hashtag Ask Wayne. And one person actually asked him about uh, having to go back and change his verses. Do you ever get a verse from someone that's so hot, you go back and adjust yours? If so, can you name a few people? Everything Drake sent back, I always have to go back and read. And it's never because it's, I mean, it's, it's, obviously it's always too hot. But it's always because he say something in, in there that make you be like, I, that make me be like, ooh, I could make more of the song and capitalize more of the song off of something that he just said and that I didn't say. And so Drake is always, so yes, I have changed my verse a billion times because of Drake. And that's always the person. All right. So that was his answer. <laughs> that's another great part of the rollout. <laughs> Even though that's the organic part of it. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's, that's still another great part. There's nothing when, when people say he had to change his verse. I don't think there's ever anything wrong with it. You, you, you no. want to make the song better. That's the whole point. Yeah. Still, uh, uh, iron sharpens iron. Steel sharpens steel. Whatever the quote is. Something sharpens something. All right. Little, ba- mm-hmm. little Baby and Jack Boy are teaming up to help build a hospital in Haiti. Now, in a recent Instagram story, Jack Boy described what he was seeing when he visited Haiti after the earthquake. He said there were several patients at a hospital that were forced to sleep outside because of lack of space. And so he wanted to help, and he donated $100,000. And he said, uh, he posted, I just walked through a hospital in Haiti and all the patients sleeping outside. I personally handed every single last one of them an envelope full of money, but for real, I feel like that ain't enough. Who want to go half with me and get a hospital built? It's not really that much, especially if we're using dollars. Mm. And him and little baby had a conversation and I guess that's the plan. Now, little, little baby responded to that plan of action. He DM Jack Boy about building something special and now that's going to happen. So that's dope. And Future's that's also dope. doing that concert with Free Wishes Foundation uh, the Free Wishes Foundation in partnership with Direct Relief, which is also going to aid uh, a benefit concert to raise money for the relief effort in Haiti as well. Dope. I love to see people doing positive things and being inspired. All right. And that is your rumor report. All right. Charlamagne, who are you giving that down to? I think we need Dog the Bounty Hunter to come to the front of the congregation. We like to have a word with him. I think this could be a teachable moment, right? Even mm-hmm. though we keep teaching the same lesson over and over, but hey. All right. Well, you his brother. We'll get into it next. I'm huh? not his brother. <laughs> okay, I'm not one of the brothers <laughs> one that of the he brothers. refers to. No, she, you're right. one of the brothers. All right. All right, so we'll get to that next at The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 